Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Nets of Hope. Good to see you guys. Um, what I need to do in this video is I need to sound the alarm, guys. Uh, the Lord gave me that dream of a barn being covered with all kinds of alarms, and I need to sound the alarm. I need to remind everyone of what the Lord has shown me throughout my whole channel, and uh, He has helped me to experience for his reasoning, uh, for his power and his glory, um, that great things are coming, guys. Great things are coming. And so um, I want to warn you that the day of August the 26th and 27th would be the anniversary of 2015, August the 26th and 27th of 2015, the year of the super red blood moon. There were five months of five full moons, and not all are listed on the Farmer's Almanac, but if I did not see them for myself, I wouldn't believe it because I had to go back to the Farmer's Almanac. But I want you to know I made my daughter a witness, and she saw five full moons on the 26th and 27th day for five months straight. On August the 26th and 27th, all the way to December the 26th and 27th, I believe it is an omen of a future event, and especially because of the fact it was on the uh, summer months of the super red blood moon. Okay, so I believe that is for this particular year. So I'm asking everyone if you need to hear from the Lord as to where you're going and what you are to do. You need to get to praying. You need to send up bolts of prayers like lightning. And you need to strike the Father's throne room with your prayer. You need Him to hear you. And I just cannot stress that enough. I cannot say that strongly enough that you need to penetrate His throne room with your prayers. You need to bow down if you can. If you not, if you cannot, then you need to bow down in your heart if you are not able to. But you need to strike his throne room again and again and again. And it doesn't hurt to be like a child. Get down on your knees before you go to bed and say, Father, I really want to walk with you in dreams, in a dream. I really need to hear from you. Where do you want me to go or do you want me to stay here? Show me clearly what you want me to do and make provision for me to head out and do your will. And he will grant you that if you are very thirsty in your prayer, he will lead you. If you're wanting to come to this camp or any other camp, you need to ask him and he will give you the answer. And if you're wanting to have a second or third confirmation, as to what he's telling you. Ask him to, again to give you another dream, to walk with you in another dream. And uh, read Numbers 12, 6 and 7. He reveals himself in dreams and visions, but he also speaks to us. Read John 16, verses 12 uh, and 13. I'm going to read that super fast. I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. Are you ready to bear them? I am. I've been ready. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. He will warn you, and he will care for you, the Holy Spirit will, for the Father, for the Son, because he is a part of the living Trinity. And that's his job, to teach you, guide you, and comfort you. So call upon the Father um, and, and just praise Him, guys. Praise Him. You need to be in prayer all day long, guys, over your food as you wake up in the morning. After you get up and you start your coffee or your hot tea, uh, wash your face, wash your hands, and then go spend some time on your knees talking with Him while your hot coffee and tea is making, guys. And... Um, uh, and then just praise Him for your health, praise Him for your home, your food. Cut off your TV, guys. Cut off your TV. Show Him He is your first love. Spend time with Him out in the yard chair. Spend time with Him quiet, alone, on your knees, and then lay down on your bed. 
put a bandana over your eyes and create a complete and total darkness. It's called a veil. Put a veil over your eyes. I usually lay it over my eyes like this and I always fold mine and I tuck it under my head like that. And sometimes he wants to give me visions. I don't ask for them. Uh, as he wants to show me things, sometimes he'll give me a vision of a word as he's wanting to speak to me. I've had him give me visions of whole sentences, guys. And um, I've had him scare the hell out of me with whole sentences, and my phone would have an alert go off on it at the same time. That was way back when he wanted me to set up a PayPal, and that he would send people to me to bless me and help me uh, with the ministry to, to grow up this camp, uh, because uh, I needed help. You know, I couldn't do it on my own, and he's sending his people here, and so he would make the provision. He would supply the camp through his godly ones, his last remnant, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So, anyway, guys, war is coming. World War III is coming, and I'm just telling you to keep an eye on the number 26 and 27. Keep your eye on every month past that, all the way through to December, because the Antichrist will rise. I so greatly believe because of the last video that he gave uh, to Jeff Barley was a confirmation to a lot of prayers. And uh, I believe so greatly that um, the comet will come in in September and October. I believe it will draw the two moons besides our earthly moon to itself. Magnetically, it will pull them right up by itself. And uh, I believe the comet will show its face in the early a.m. hours or the late evening hours. I don't know which. But I do believe that it will penetrate the heavens. And I've actually seen it on October the 1st of 2019. And it created a pyramid, a triangle. The comet was at the top of the pyramid. With It looked mystical. It had stars uh, all around it like they were glued. And I didn't see a tail. I only saw the face of the comet and stars around it magically uh, and they were big and twinkling and then the the two extra moons was to the left and right of the comet and you could say the comet was at the top of my head and look that forms a perfect triangle okay uh, I saw that on October uh, the 1st of 2019 I believe it is an omen to this year because of the things that the Father is going to allow to do. Um, and you have to understand that the Father showed me that when the two moons come together, uh, I will be given a greater power. And if you listen to Mary, God's Handmaiden's video, her very last video that she made on her channel, it's only about, I think it's about three minutes and 48 or 58 seconds. But if you listen to the second part of that video, it talks about a group of people that are going to be um, meeting the Lord in the mid-heavens and that he would take them at 12 noon and that they would be given a glorified body and uh, they would be sent back to prophesy in sackcloth. Um, and so I believe that I am one of those people, regardless of what you guys believe. I believe in what the Lord God is showing me. and. Um, I have found scripture in regards to wings. I want you to listen. But the two wings of the great eagle were given to the woman. Who is the woman? The woman, and referred in Revelations 12, is Israel. But the Lord has showed not only me, but he showed many other people, but he has shown my sister, Danielle, that the um, lampstands and the olive branches are the Jews and the Gentiles grafted in together. So when it talks about the woman now, we're grafted in and we're a part of um, the ministry that God's going to pour out upon the earth. But anyway, it says, but the two wings of the great eagle were given to the woman so that she could fly into the wilderness to her place where she was nourished for a time and a times and a half and a times from the presence of the serpent. So we're going to be nurtured in the wilderness for 1260 days in a camp. But I've been shown I've been, I'm going to be given a building. Now then, if you read Revelation 12, verse 6, it says, The woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God, so that there she would be nourished for 1,260 1, days, which is 1,260 days. 
And then if you look at the Bible reference, it leads you to Revelations 11:13, which equals what the Lord has showed me. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, the Jews and the Gentiles, guys. They're going to be coming together to create this one world event of being the two witnesses throughout the whole earth. And they will prophesy for 1260 days in sackcloth. Listen to Mary's last video that's three minutes and something, and uh, you will see what I'm talking about. Listen to it very slowly. It's given towards the last part of her video. Uh, I am one of those people. Danielle's daughter, Danielle, uh, the YouTube channel called Jesus in Georgia, her daughter is also, she's been shown, her daughter is one of us that will be flying, one of us that will be transformed. Now then, I've had many on my channel that have showed me that they have had dreams of flying. It is a very good possibility, guys, you don't know your gift and you don't know that you're pro part of this wilderness prophecy. Now then, uh, I'm going to do another video in regards to uh, the camp, and I want to continue to ask everyone to pray, where does the Lord God want you to go? And uh, if you will draw near to Him, and if you will make time to chat with me, uh, I will be glad to um, minister to you, but also I can have those in our camp minister to you in the evenings as they have time. Um, and we can help pray with you guys. And um, I don't know all the answers, but uh, when he gave me that dream the other night, I want to guess that I saw at least 50 plus people. Didn't see any more than that. And at least that's all he was allowed to show me. Now that might be for the, the, the first gathering of the blessings uh, from what was bestowed in that dream. Uh, he was giving out checks. He was blessing us uh, to start the ministries. And I believe that's coming soon and very soon. Anyway, I'm going to end this video for now, guys. But I'm telling you, get ready for World War III. But what he showed me about World War III is after those three states had been hit with nuclear bombs, the power would be shut down, the power grid. And uh, if you walk up to any electrical pole and you see those little uh, metal brackets up there, I saw no lightning, I saw no bright flash flare or anything. I saw all the prongs jump away from all the wires and the wires uh, were shot out and started having electricity fly out of them and then the electricity died out and all the wires. So, and then he said, Cindy, I am ready, meaning he's ready to start his ministry, that the people's hearts are finally ready to repent and get right with him. He hated to bring war upon this country. It's not you and I that are Christians that have brought the war. It's all the ungodly ones and all those within the church that won't repent. They think that they're right with God, but they're not. So pray like you have never prayed before for your family, your children, your church, your neighbors, and uh, you need to seek where does God want you to go. I love you guys, and we need your support here. We're buying, Catherine and Travis right now are, they went out, I gave them $400. Uh, they went out to go buy some blue food grade water barrels. And we already bought a water pump yesterday, and then we had another sister that bought three water pumps. Uh, so we're ready to go for a lot of people, washing dishes, cooking food, washing hands, getting drinks of water, uh, and we're going to put them in the cool shade so that we can keep the water at a low temperature uh, so that it can be cool and refreshing. Um, so anyway, guys, we need your love. We need your support. Uh, we need your uh, donations. We need to continue to stock up food and personals uh, that we might be able to be ready to endure what is ahead of us. And we don't have near the tents and cots that we need. If any of you feel let, to order some tents. We're looking for the Coleman tents that you can pop up in five minutes or any tent that's like it that will hold six to ten people because we believe there's enough room in there for a husband and wife in a ten people tent and they can make it in the tent into like a bedroom, okay? We don't have any ten, per, ten person tents. All the tents we have so far are six person and it's only enough room for one person to have a bedroom with their backpacks, their, their cot, 
and their personal possessions. We could make do and put two people in the tent, but it's gonna be really tight. But we're trying to get extra tents and storage going on so people would have another place to put their possessions until the Lord God gives us this building. So we're needing your help. We're needing your support. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm just going to move this mountain of dirt. And uh, I just praise the Lord that you listened all the way to the end. And um, we need to pray. You need to spend time with him. And many of you are on my hearts. I know that you want to come here. And uh, we want to start fellowshipping with you. And uh, so if you will contact me, I'll be glad to give Catherine and Travis your phone numbers uh, and um, whoever else in our camp would like your phone number. And I know some are overwhelmed. Some are ministering to many people. But we would like to minister to as many as we can. I can't minister to you guys every day. I can't. I've got to work 40 hours a week as much as possible to continue to supply the rent money and any extra food, gas, or car repairs or things that we need beyond what's being given so that we can get all of our needs met before um, the money system shuts down. You guys need to be prepared for when World War III strikes, your cars won't be working. I've seen the solar flare hit the power lines, not only once, but the Lord has showed it to me twice. That's a, that's a witness that it will happen. And the second time was in the, the actual visions with World War III. The other time was all by itself in the month of November. Uh, so it's very possible that he's actually showing me the month that it would go down, but I cannot be for sure of that. So we need to use godly discernment and we need to look at both facts. You know, that he did show me a month of November was when he gave me the first vision of the power going down. But then he showed me the vision in October of last year uh, that the power would go down after those three states was hit. New York City, Salt Lake City, and Las Vegas, and um, Los Angeles. When they're hit with nuclear bombs, the power will shut down not too long after that. Then um, he will be ready for us to start these uh, true churches of the Lord thy God. All other churches won't exist anymore. They will begin to grow cobwebs and Satan will take them over as slaughterhouses. Get ready, guys. And some of you need to face the truth. You may be beheaded. Don't plan what you're going to say. Just be ready to be faithful to the Lord. And as soon as they chop off your head, you'll be with the Lord forever. Have an everlasting peace and rest. No more antichrist. No more hot heat. No more hell. No more running. And some of you will die in other ways. Some of you will never know that you died. You'll die in tsunamis, flooding. Some of you will die in air earthquakes, volcanoes. And uh, anyway, I love all of you guys. I want all of you to be the last remnant and to stay here and minister with us. But some of you, it is not God's will. And so we all need to accept that. But there's nothing wrong with you having a great desire to want to serve him and seek that calling with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And watch him, and he'll grant you favor. Now I want to pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just ask that you would grant favor on every brother and every sister that wants to serve you, Father. And I ask that you would grant them favor. Help them to hear from you, Lord. Help them to know where they're to go. And I ask that you would bless them. Sprinkle their hearts and minds and their flesh clean with your holy water. Cover them in the blood of Jesus. Sanctify them. Raise up your army, Father, that your gospel may be preached throughout the land. And I pray, Father, sink this message of this video deep in their hearts, that they would be ready, that they would meditate on your word day and night, so that they might be hot and on fire, that their thermometer would be all the way to the top with the Spirit of Christ in their souls that they would not be lukewarm or cold, but that they would be hot and on fire with your love and your plans. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I love you guys. I'm going to end this video for now. Um, take care. And again, if you want to donate uh, to this ministry, go under the word about on my toolbar, and you can either mail us a check or money order. Uh, but please don't delay because I expect the money to go down as soon as World War III hits. 
and I expect the armies to go out and press this vaccination. Uh, and so you guys need to be ready for that. Help us to help God's people. Some of you may perish, and if you have money and you're able to give, please give. But if you have money and you need to use it for leaving, please don't give. Please save it until you hear from the Lord. And then if he tells you something at the last minute and tells you you're saving, buy all that you can and do a ministry at your home, your trailer house, your RV, whatever, and try and help others around you. Be ready to feed them and minister the gospel to them and do your own ministries, guys. Be ready. But those of you that can, please help us. We love you. We are brothers and sisters in Christ forever. And I love you. I love you. You know that, don't you? I love you guys very, very much. You've been true brothers and sisters in Christ. Some of you have been mighty in your love. and You've called me, texted me, and you didn't give up on me. And I'm glad that you followed my reminders because I have a lot on my plate, guys. I love you. Take care.